Today the Senate Energy Committee had an official visit to Ajia to update itself on the situation of the connectivity, um, specifically the last mile connectivity, with emphasis of what the LELEC has been doing in terms of the green energy connection to households and to institutions. We are pleased to see that uh, this one of the county that is quite progressive, despite the several challenges that are facing in electricity, our commitment is to engage the members, that is um, the stakeholders, that is the ministry, uh, in terms of uh, ensuring that LELEC and other, uh, other bodies like KPLC get adequate budget so that they can be able to improve on the connectivity. We've also noted with a lot of concern that uh, this is one of the counties that is not connected to the grid and therefore there is need and uh, there is, it is urgent to ensure that uh, we come up with measures, if be, if be it even PPPs, whereby we can ensure that the county is connected to the main grid to be able to promote industrialization and also to ensure that the commitment of the government to ensure that people are connected to electricity has been met. Unless you come to a jail, you'll not get to know what is happening. You know? And I wish that every senator will come to a jail so that they can be able to fight for devolution and to fight for devolution money. Rerek has attempted to electrify certain areas. But the problem is that they will do a design of an area, of an institution, with about 50 homes around, but then because of budget cuts, they will not be able to fulfill their mandate. When we allocate money to Rerek, we give them enough money so that they can be able to complete their projects. You know, from the oversight perspective, I can say that Rerek is trying, but we are cutting their hands. We are cutting their feet. We are not allowing them to complete the journey. Here, the design was for this technical institution and all the homes around here. But because of budget cuts, they have only managed to electrify one institution. I think it is important that we all become very candid with each other. We are spending a lot of money on fuel, spending 2.3 million shillings daily on fuel to be able to electrify Wajia town is not sustainable. We have generators which are dilapidated, you know, which are being used by KPLC. We have, would rather go to a PPP project so that electricity can be here. But ultimately, the solution, even for REREC to be able to do their job, is to put Wajia County into the national grid. Nothing stops this country with the amount of money that is utilizing to be able to put Wajia County, Garissa County, and Mandera County fully into the national grid. That is the only time that we can actually be able to see progress when it comes to electricity. Thank you to my colleagues. Actually, we came all the way from Nairobi to come and see the situation of electricity and power supply to Wajia and Wajia. And they have found, you know, the situation of power supply in Wajia that actually it is actually one thing. And that is all institutions are not performing very well because of lack of power. But hopefully when we go back to Nairobi, we will work together so that it will go and knock the office of the Redek and the office of the power lightning so that we can be able to get a proper supply and natural grid connections, God willing. Therefore, I want to say thank you so much for those who came, like my colleagues, the, uh, the secretariat, my colleagues, the senators, and the officers who are here today with us, and the teachers who are here. This is a great honor to be here as the staff of REREC to come and just uh, visit this project of uh, Tarbaj Teachers Training College. As we've been told by the principal, that uh, the, the requirement was for this uh, institution to have electricity, for it to be commissioned and for students to join. And because of the project that REREC has done in this uh, facility of electrifying this institution, they have been able to enroll 96 uh, students. This is the first intake. And we want to say that uh, we want to encourage the people of this area now to use the electricity to improve their socioeconomic lives so they can be able to improve the lifestyle of this place. We also want to emphasize more even on the students in this school to be able to learn more skills now since they are electrified. And we want to say that uh, we are very pleased to be here and we are going to electrify the homesteads that are around uh, this uh, this area to the to, to electricity and I'm sure with this uh, project of REREC we shall be able to the lives of these people shall improve. Thank you REREC. We thank you. You, need, you, you came when we needed you very much. Remember I said this college was 
almost to be cancelled. We were refused to be approved because of electricity and uh, because of the help of our area MP. Thank you so much to him. We were able to get electricity. We say thank you to RERAC. Now the college is fully lightening. We are enjoying your service.